What's going on 22 Comics and today I've got my first ever CBCS submission back. I, I sent them to CBCS like early September around like the 5th or so. They didn't get put in their system until like early November like around the 5th. Uh, and then they've been there for however long since then. So finally got my first back. There's three books in here. And they all were supposed to be signature verified as well. I did not witness any of the signatures. So I have no idea whether or not the signatures were legit or not. Any, anyways, uh, actually, if you go back to another video of mine, when I did a prep of showing you how I ship books to CBCS, those are the books that I sent, actually. So, let's open this up. And let's see what I got. I wrote my notes as far as like what I think the grades are here in this. That's what I was going off looking for. So yeah, let's finish this up. I have not seen the grades yet. Um, I did go ahead and see that all of them were. It looks like all of them were verified, so they all. Did get slabbed. I did have it set. I said they all got verified. This thing's very small. So the way that I did it, I sent them all in and. I wanted them slabbed only if the signature was verified. So, looks like I've, I sent three books in. I got three books back. So, yeah, let's find, like I said, I already saw that all of them were verified. So, I just don't know what the grades are yet. I've got what I think the grades are. Um, this is my Hellboy Free Comic Book Day. Signed by Mike Manola. Alright. There's this little signature right there. Um, I got this off eBay however long ago. And I just thought it was super cool and super awesome. And I've got a Hellboy statue that I think would go really well with it. I estimated the grade on this to be a 6.5. I got a... Whoa! <laughs> 8.5 white pages nice super excited about that I did not I didn't anticipate any of these to come back a 9.8 or anything like that these were all low grade books um, so yeah Hellboy free comic book day number one uh, verified signature Mike Manola so yeah cool super exciting I don't mind the CBCS yellow label that's that's actually nice looking. I, I kind of like that. Um, I mean, of course, I like the CGC yellow label as well. But like, this is not. That's not bad. It's not. It's not the blue label. You know, I don't really dig the blue label a whole lot. As far as like comparing it to CGC, like most everybody else. So, I like the bags that CBCS sends uh, their books back in too. Like the bags are sh way better than CGCs. Like ten times better. And CGCs. So, all right, this book here. I'm not. No, I know what this book is. No, we're not doing that one yet. I'm super excited about this book. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. Um, this is. I found an X Men number one signed by Chris Claremont. Chris Claremont. So there's his signature. It's a really beat up book. I had this. It is the wraparound, which I'll we'll show. I'll show the wraparound here in a minute. 
Uh, I had this one at a 5.5, just because the spine is it's, it's pretty beat up. So, I got, and I pressed all these and cleaned them and everything that I could. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, anyways, this X-Men one got a 5.5. Okay, cool. First appearance of Alkalites, Nick Fury, and Magneto appearance. President George Bush cameo, double gatefold cover, includes covers A through D. Verified signature, Chris, Chris Claremont. So, yep. Oh, it's even got stuff on the back. X-Men Blue Team is formed. Full interior cover, Marvel Mutants poster. No ads. Four two-page pinups by Jim Lee and Scott Williams. Two-page X-Men sketchbook. See, like, even this back here, like, you'll see it. Look at that right there. Oh, that big old color right there. And like I said, the spine's just, the spine does have some work. But hey, Chris Claremont. I mean, that's that's super cool. But I love that. That's awesome. So I'm, I'm thoroughly excited about that. All right, this last one here. Which has got me even more excited because this last one here has got three signatures on it. All right, I found this in a local comic book shop. I say local; it was it was like an hour away or something. But the guy had a bunch of Iron Man books, and a bunch of them were signed by uh, a lot of them were Bob Layton, and then some of them were um, the Falco, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then this one here was DeFalco, Bob Layton, and John Romita Jr. And I was like, this is an awesome cover. Like, three bigs on one Iron Man book. I was like, I, I'll try it. I think I paid like four or five dollars for the book. So something like that. It, was, it wasn't nothing big. Um, I estimated this book to be a 6.0. So let's see what I got. 7.5. Nice. Nice. Tom DeFalco, John Romita Jr., Bob Layton, all verified. Awesome. Super excited about that. Look at that. Awesome. So, yeah, uh, I'm not. I, I'm super happy with the grades that I got. Super happy with the way the books came back, the packaging, all that jazz. I, I'm not thrilled about the weight that I had to have to, to get the books back because, I mean, I didn't fast track them, but I don't know. It just didn't seem like it should have taken as long as it did. I mean, I've had three CGC send-offs since after I sent these in. Like, that seems kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Cases are super nice. They're super sturdy. Uh, like I said, I love the bags that they're coming in. I'm probably going to keep them in those bags. And, yeah, the packaging is really nice and all that jazz. So, it's nice to be able to get a signature verified, so that's cool. Um, It's nice to be able to not get it slabbed if it's not verified. I like that. The label's nice. I, I like that. Anyways, super happy about this. And the other two books. So thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You can find me on Instagram at 22 underscore comics. You can also find me on eBay at 22 underscore comics. You can find me on a podcast called Comically Comics. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, y'all have a good one.